All he wanted was to improve his love life with his wife. But he never imagined just what it would cost him. When you hear what happened, you really won't believe it. The married father tells News Channel 5's Nick Barris exclusively. It's something that has changed him forever. I'll tell you, this is scary for him, and he's not the only one. What you're about to hear is a cautionary tale for anyone looking to spice up their sex life. A warning, some of this story content is graphic. You'll have different syringes that you can put inside of this. It all started with a syringe similar to this. This is like an auto injector. Okay. The means by which the medication is injected. In the question, of course, why on earth would a healthy adult male allow an injection directly into his groin? Just trying to add a little more spice, and we've been together for a while. We're just looking for a little more spice in our relationship, you know. This married father of one says he was just looking for a boost to his intimacy performance. He asked that we not show his face, but did agree to talk about a procedure that he says essentially destroyed his sex life. It's a life-changing experience for me and my wife. It's a devastating injury. It's a lifelong injury. Now practice lawyer Clint Kelly says his client, we'll call him John, was looking for help in the bedroom. And John, like a growing number of men, responded to a commercial. There are ads on the radio that specifically go after men who may have some sexual insecurity. Clinics offer treatments administered by physicians. John was steered toward the injection, a mix of drugs that can cost thousands of dollars. They're meant for people with significant erectile dysfunction. John didn't have that problem. He just wanted to boost his performance. Urologist Doug Milam, who teaches at Vanderbilt, says the injections can cause problems in patients like John who don't really need them. But that doesn't seem to deter men. Dr. Milam says he's seen a disturbing spike in patients with a specific and very painful condition. They come to him for help if things go wrong at the clinics. We started seeing individuals showing up in our emergency room with priapism or prolonged directions. It's pain that I, I wouldn't wish on. Uh, any other man. John sued the clinic after he suffered for more than 24 hours. Doctors were forced to use a surgical procedure to reverse the condition where the blood is able to drain away from his genitals. But the damage was done. Now the plaintiff is impotent for the rest of his life. John would give anything to be normal again and has these words of warning for anyone who looks to enhance their sex life with shots. If they think about getting it done, stop and realize you know what you could lose certainly something to think about the treatments at these clinics can and do work but the results often depend on the patient now dr milam says it's crucial that men educate themselves first about the potential risks of any procedure before going forward do your own research and don't blindly buy into promises of an enhanced sex life Roy. Nick, thanks. A few similar lawsuits have been filed across the country in recent years, but experts say many men who are injured never come forward, fearing the embarrassment of making what happened public in a court of law.